Aristotle by John Sellers. So Aristotle, one of the towering figures of philosophy, is provided an introduction from John Sellers. Sellers wrote possibly the best introduction to Stoicism that I've read, so I was keen to see if his treatment of Aristotle matched it. So the book covers many of Aristotle's main works, the ethics, metaphysics, poetics, physics, politics, but given this short book is really just a primer, one shouldn't expect too much depth or detail to the book. It, it really is just a primer. It's written well, though, acknowledging the difficulty of the metaphysics, the importance of the Nicomachean ethics, and the framework for drama and tragedy that the poetics outlined. One particularly important part is the inevitable contrast between Plato and Aristotle, and how Aristotle took a scientific approach, matched by his fascination of animals and the physical world, whereas Plato's theory of forms has usually been construed as more abstract. The difference was well explained, how Plato's forms are a higher reality and have an original idea, whereas Aristotle believed forms do not exist independently of things, and are more of an attribute which can sometimes be lost or added without impacting the original subject. One problem I see with Aristotle is that reading him directly, he's just quite dry. And I say this as someone who loves ancient philosophy. Getting an introduction such as this by Sellers can help. When one doesn't know the context around someone like Nietzsche, it can remain interesting nevertheless, although probably a bit difficult to understand, especially for newcomers. Yet with Aristotle, having surrounding context can really help you to just read the text and his works. A criticism of this book would be that some of it's too short to achieve what it needs to do, and the subject matter is certainly too complicated in places to provide enough context. Aristotle's metaphysics instantly springs to mind. And indeed, is caveated by the author as this book barely being able to dip its toes into the me metaphysical water. This is less the case for Poetics, which itself is fairly short, and has a few central ideas that are easier to understand and easier to cover in a primer such as this. Just to read a quote from the book to give you an idea, open quote, one way in which our own use of comedy ought not to overstep its bounds, Aristotle suggests in the Nicomachean Ethics, is by avoiding being deliberately offensive. He also argues that comedy on stage ought to be fun, relaxing and entertaining, and so shouldn't cause pain to anyone else. The goal is relaxation and amusement, not provocation. Bearing in mind Aristotle's stress on the importance of living in a harmonious community, humour too ought to contribute to this by generating enjoyable social occasions, moments to bring the community together, rather than upsetting or alienating anyone. The issue is as current today as when Aristotle reflected on it. Where do we draw the lines between humour and offence? Should some topics be off limits for comedy? End quote. And that's from page 81. To Sellers still writes with clarity and avoids getting bogged down or sidetracked. It is a focused work, which often makes his short analyses so effective. He also writes in a readable style that is enjoyable for potentially challenging ideas. I didn't really see much problems, if any, with how Aristotle's ideas are presented, nor what was included and what was left out. Such a vast volume of literature has been written about Aristotle that not everything is going to be present here. So in terms of final score, I don't see too much need to over elaborate here. For a short, succinct primer that gets the job done, this is a good read for understanding Aristotle and his main ideas. If you're studying philosophy for university or even just personally, you might need something a little more detailed. But this is still worth a quick read that you can finish in a couple of hours. So long as you acknowledge that it won't be comprehensive, you'll probably enjoy it. So I'm giving this one a 7 out of 10. It's good, it's short, doesn't cover everything, but is a good introduction. So thanks for watching, got plenty more videos on philosophy books and a, a host of other genres. So cheers.